How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can use a VPN uh, with this very simple VPN tutorial. Now, there are too many VPNs in the market today, so uh, I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've just narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. I'll go ahead and demonstrate using ExpressVPN because it's my personal favorite VPN. It's what I use on the daily. Uh, but again, you have Nord and Surfshark as two other alternatives uh, to ExpressVPN and they're just some of the best VPNs you can find out there. So let's say you've downloaded one of these VPNs. By the way, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below if you guys are interested. Okay, so ExpressVPN. Now, what you want to do is understand the two features that are available in all these VPNs. And these are two basic security features. Now, let's go to the VPN locations. Of course, every VPN is going to have a locations list and ExpressVPNs is sorted by continents. And you have a map design right here with NordVPN and you can also have a list uh, or just search up the list. And the same thing with Surfshark. You don't have a map design, but you do have a list. What you also have is an options menu and this is where you need to understand what a kill switch is. And uh, ExpressVPN doesn't have many features. It only has the kill switch and with tunneling. Now the kill switch is going to cut your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel in order to prevent any rare IP leaks. Uh, so it's a very useful feature to have in your VPN. Now split tunneling is going to allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So let's say I want to have a couple of applications use the VPN while the rest of my connection is left outside the VPN tunnel. This is a pretty useful feature uh, to have in your VPN. And again, the kill switch, split tunneling, and a handful of protocols are all available in these VPNs. It's just that each VPN may have one or more features or a specific feature that may not be available in the other VPN. And that's why I recommend you check the reviews in order to know exactly what you're looking for. Besides that, you've got the protocols. Now, for the most part, you can just leave that on automatic and you're good to go. But uh, since lightweight UDP is the best performing protocol with ExpressVPN, I choose that. And once I know what the kill switch is, what the split tunneling is about, and which protocol is best to choose, then you're good to go with regards to using the VPN. Let's say you want to access the US Netflix library. You go to America's, go to the United States, pick let's just go with Chicago, for example, turn it on, and that's pretty much it with regards to using the VPN. And then you can go to an IP finder and just double check that you are indeed connected to the correct server, and that is it. Now, how do you use NordVPN? Again, very simple, go to settings. Of course, you have bonus features right here. Uh, I mean, I recommend you check the reviews below if you wanna understand them, but you wanna to go to connection, and make sure you're using the Nord Links protocol. That is the fastest protocol. Here you have the kill switch if you want to turn it on, but you also have the uh, app kill switch and you have split tunneling. And uh, that's all you need to really know about the uh, VPN before you start using it. And once you're good to go, you can just either look up the servers right here on the list or just zoom in and connect to whatever server you want to connect to. Let's just go with the New York server, for example. And uh, once you select one of these dots you'll be able to connect to the server as for surfshark it's uh you know you can just go to the settings right here you have the kill switch you have bypasser which is the same as split tunneling it's just called bypasser here wireguard is going to be the best performing protocol go back to the vpn and just select one of these and let's just go with um, toronto for example and it will take a few seconds to connect. It's not as quick as ExpressVPN, and that's partly the reason why I choose ExpressVPN over most other VPNs. It's just how reliable and consistent it is, and it's just lightning quick with regards to connecting to uh, their servers. And that's pretty much it for this video. Again, if you guys are interested in learning more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full reviews down below, and you'll find links to pricing discounts if you'd like to jump straight to those. Either way, they're all covered by 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk-free. Otherwise, you can simply get yourself the refund if you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPN and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.